After recovering, I got a chance to compete for my job, back with the Chargers, and I earned it back and started to play again. And it was amazing. I was healthy for the first time in a year. I was crushing the ball, and all of a sudden, um, my life began to change. Because of the visibility of the NFL, a lot was made about my return to the league. We would play an away game in Denver or Dallas, Kansas City, and generally the sports writer or a TV interview would come out and do a quick little interview or article on me. And wherever those articles appeared, patients would read them. And some, a bunch, actually screwed up enough courage to write me. I'd come back to the locker room the next week and there would be 50 letters in my locker. And it was, it was actually kind of funny. It was all the same as Rolf Benershka, always misspelled, San Diego Chargers, San Diego, California, and they'd end up in my locker. And as I was open these letters, the letters were all the same. Dear Rolf, how can you play football with an ostomy? I'm trying to, it was like fill in the blank, go to school, go to work, be a dad. And as I read these letters, I learned that there are over 100,000 ostomies done every year. And every one of those, life-changing for the person and their family. And I remember trying to write each letter back and going, oh my gosh, I, I can't possibly do that. So I created a program to find other stories to encourage patients. And over the course of that, I found amazing stories that blew up this restrictive lifestyle box that we thought as ostomates we'd have to live in, right? Can't work out, can't swim, can't travel, can't have an intimate relationship, can't do the things that we love to do. The truth is, as I heard from these other ostomates, that wasn't true. We found people that returned to the firefighting force, returned to the police force, became triathletes, became beauty queens. We found a guy that climbed Mount Everest with an ostomy bag. We found politicians, singers, actors, every avocation, every profession you can imagine, people started to share their story. And we started to tell those stories to the people that were writing me. Blew up this box and it changed everything. During the course of that, we learned that every ostomate goes through three journeys at the same time. The first is a physical, difficult surgery, although we're getting better at it, painful, need to deal with that. The second is the emotional journey. How do you deal with clothes? How do you deal with dating? How do you tell somebody about it? How do you return to the things you love to do? And the third is a mechanical journey. How does your new digestive system work? How do you find a bag? What kind of bag? How do you put it on? Those three journeys happen to us concurrently, and it's really hard to figure out without, without help. And that's why we created Alive and Kicking. We're gonna be with you on each one of those journeys to inspire you and educate you and hold your hand through your ostomy journey.